today is the day. I have an appointment at 1 p.m. to look at kittens, and I've been approved to take one home today because they did like a house tour thing with me and whatnot. So, we're about to leave. My heart's like pounding, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I have. I feel like I need them in my hands or something. Cause right now I'm just like. <laughs> well, what are your expectations? Do you expect to get one today? Oh, sorry. Do I expect to get one today? I think so. Though I'm like the kind of person that always like panics the last second, and I'm just like, no, I can't do it. And I have an avoidant personality apparently. And uh, <laughs> but I think I will. I think I'll fall in love with one. But I'm scared to fall in love with one because my heart has so much love for Max and I'm like, I don't know if I can share it. You're gonna know like the second that you see it. What would be your ideal kitty? Mm. Look wise. Yes. Just one that loves Max. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not a look though. I don't really care what they look like. I feel like I'm a sucker for like three legged tails and stuff like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably gonna go for like the awkward one in the corner. <laughs> that's my guy. Like, that's me. <laughs> yeah. I think I just want one that's like maybe a little more on the chill side, not like the neurotic one, you know, the bunch. Are you going for a kitten or adult cat? I don't know. I think You're open I'll look at it. kittens, yeah, but I'm definitely open like if there was another one. What's your biggest fear? That they won't like Max. <sighs> I always think of it like when Max was meeting Ashley's cats. Like I think of dropping my kid off at kindergarten or something and none of the kids like her or something. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm so sorry, I ruined you. <laughs> It's my fault. No, they're gonna love, like, my cats are, they hate each other for the first week yeah. and now That's my worry, is just like, I'm gonna be so stressed yeah. the first week mm -hmm. though if they don't like each other. But I know Max will take to a cat immediately because mm -hmm. that's how he did Ashley's cat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Max and Liz, are you ready? Any final words, Max? Don't eat my food. <laughs> this is my food. Don't eat my food and don't take my human. <laughs> the camera just been, like pulling two fingers in her nose. <laughs> it's got mail. I don't even know why I'm filming you walking down the stairs, but <laughs> I just, must I, this is, everything. yes, every moment. <laughs> Nicole. Yeah, you can. Hi. How are you feeling? Are sweating. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. We're here. We're here. Think he's going to meet Kitty. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Don't pressure me. No, you're going to meet the, I just said you're going to meet it. Okay. Yeah. No commitments yet. recommend when bringing like my cat's nine he's almost ten but he's very playful and like he loves other cats loves like do you others. think he'd get along with a kitten well or probably um Sinatra and also Jason are very hard players mm -hmm. like they're big wrestlers oh, okay so they might be too much for a nine-year-old yeah yeah um, a calmer one mm -hmm. sweeter one like um, Brock or Brooklyn <laughs> Nikki, yeah, look. Just... Boy, God, that's gone. Oh, this one. Oh, this one is playing with me. Right? Oh. Wow. Oh, this one so looks like Max. Oh, no. Oh. Poor baby. He's the one that I noticed was super cute. Yeah. And pretty. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he likes it. Oh, he likes it. Oh. He's so he's so calm. Hi. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Big stretchy, big boy. Why is he so fat? Mm. <laughs> Oh. 
months. So Nikki's in tears, but it's gonna be okay. I know this is so sad to see. Definitely overwhelming, but yeah. I think a kitten's the easiest choice. Mm -hmm. like, I also feel like the kittens will really get adopted. That's why I don't like feel as bad. It's like it's more sad than cute. Yeah, but you have to think of something that's gonna fit into whatever yeah, with a kitten. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Update, we obviously didn't get a cat yesterday. Nope. But destiny has perhaps called upon us. Destiny has risen itself to the occasion. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we're gonna see. But Freddy is the cat that I had initially found on the website that I wanted, but he was in a foster home when we went to visit the cats. So I did not see him. Which felt like it wasn't destiny. Yeah, exactly. And then he's at this PetSmart in Pasadena and I have an appointment that's over by Pasadena anyway, so we're going over there now to see if Freddy is still there, first of all, and also the Destiny cat for Matt. But I feel like we're in a good place. We're in a goodish place because, well, actually, we're really not. We're in the last hour of the adoption we don't know. event. <laughs> he was there like 12 to 3? 12 to, 12 to 3.30. So hopefully he's still there. Hopefully he's perfect. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes best. according to plan. But yeah, I just thought I would update you. You guys will see it all. I will be recording it all. Nikki will probably be crying. I just go into the thing sobbing. <laughs> So far there's been some false advertisement. It says it was a pet smart. It's actually a pet coat, but that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna go in. Everything's gonna be great. The reason that I really liked Frankie is because they said that he was always moving his bed around. So he's rearranging his furniture and I always like to rearrange my furniture. It's true. <laughs> oh, it is Freddy. Oh my God, Nikki. Hi, baby. Oh, Nikki, he's precious. Oh, Nikki, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. He's a big boy. Oh, he's beautiful. It's like, what is this thing? <laughs> he's so he's staring freaking. directly at the camera. <laughs> Look at him, do you see? <laughs> he's about to die. <laughs> like, that's exactly Max says. Everything went vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> he totally reminds me of Max. Just a floofier tail. Just like a big boy. Yeah. The same size. <laughs> just <laughs> sniffly as Jasmine, I guess. Okay, so the adoption people for Freddy were not the nicest they people were in the world. They were not the most actually, just the, just the one woman that was. No, the crazy. guy wasn't that wealthy either. Oh no, the guy I didn't even know. When he asked to, to uh, see one of the other cats, he stared at her. I don't know why they were so rude. Maybe it was because like, we're younger. So and, weird. I don't know. Like, if they thought we were like gonna eat these cats after we got them or something. I don't we know what they're following. They legit, she was on the phone. Yeah. She got off the phone, looked at us, walked over to the other woman and just started talking to her. It was so weird. Like I had to even interrupt them and be like, hello, we're here to see the cats. Like we've already filled out the paperwork. Like we're actually legitimate people here to see the cats. Yeah. Whatever, regardless, besides that horrible experience, she basically wasn't even interested in letting us have the cat. She was like, you can email them online. And I'm like, then kind of what's the point of you being here? Like I've already been approved. Like not helpful at all. Like did not want me to take it this cat. It was almost like, like she's super attached to the cat, but she's not. But, but she, she has that personality. Because the cat doesn't even have a home. It's been staying at PetSmart. Like that's where yeah. it's been. And so that was kind of annoying, but I emailed the foster parent because that's what she told me to do. So the foster parent who isn't actually fostering him because he's out of Petco. So we love Freddy though. We he love was adorable. Freddy. He was playful. I think he, he reminded me a lot of Max. I think he get along well with Max, but they were awful, honestly. Zero stars. <laughs> like, except for the other lady was nice when she was talking about her cats, but she was like a different foster parent who was fostering those three girl cats. But regardless, Jasmine's dying, so we're here at Anusha's. No worries, you're perfect. Um, we're here at Anusha's. I have to get my Botox touch up because you see how much movement is in my forehead. 
it stops this, that's what the Botox says, and this, like creasing, because I have my body just does that genetically. So she's gonna take care of that for me, and maybe my under eyes, because she did Jazz's under eyes and it looks so good, so I got, you know. She's a brand new woman. This is brand new, see? Look at her. Great. <laughs> she feels great, she loves it. But yeah, so that's what we're here to do. I'm very perturbed on my cat finding mission, but it's gonna happen eventually when it's the time. But it's the right kitty. It's the time of the right kitty. Okay, so I did my little Botox. You just bloop, 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 around. And yeah, we're headed back home. I'm really hoping that they email me back about the kitty. But if not, you know, we'll just see what happens. And I don't want to rush it or force it. I just want it to happen. If it's meant to happen, we'll just, we'll just see. Thanks for joining us for this ride. <laughs> we will have a brother for Max Damon. Good morning, sunshines. I just got emailed back. I saw the notification for it and I was already like, they just don't want, like, I don't know if the universe doesn't want me to have this cat, but like just people in general just don't, I just, okay. She said, I received your questionnaire. Freddie plays really hard and is very aggressive with his feline playmates. I was wondering if you think your nine-year-old cat would be up for that. How playful and energetic is he? Is he dominant or submissive? What are your thoughts on this? I also have a question about the pet door. Does that lead to the enclosed patio? Is it completely enclosed? If so, with what kind of material? Screen, Latisse, chicken wire? I look forward to hearing back to you. Sometimes my instinct is to get bitchy almost. So I don't want to lean towards that direction, but I'm just like, oh, obviously she just wants to find a good home for the cat. Do I think he's too, if he was playful, would it be too playful for Max? Cause let's see what Max is doing right now. You know, he does that a lot. It's mostly this, but then there are just many times of day when he just wants to chase me around and he's bored and he sits on the patio and he meows loudly and I, I want him to have a friend. And then it's like, Okay, this cat's really playful. And then what if I get a different cat and they're not playful at all? And then they don't even like each other. Like, what What am I looking for here? What's the goal? Why is this so hard? I really thought I was just gonna go grab a cat and like, I didn't think it was gonna be hard. <laughs> no, it's hard. But let me know your thoughts below. Max is pretty lazy, he's very cuddly, but I don't know, y'all don't really see him go feral mode, but he, and if I don't play with him, he gets very annoyed and like me, so. And I do play with him, but regardless, sometimes I'm out of town or whatever happens and I want him to have a friend. So, should I go with a playful cat? Should I look for a cat with a calmer demeanor? Should I get an older cat and just hope that they get along? Should I get a kitten and mold him to what I want him to be? What do I do here? What do you think? Cat ladies, cat men, cat people. I need your advice. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. I feel a little disheartened by this, I'm not gonna lie. Just cause like I had, I don't know, I like stupidly got my heart kind of set on one cat that I just loved and I still like him. But I'm just like, should I just give up? Because they're being so aggressive towards his care. Like, I just feel like every question that I've asked, they've been like, mm, yeah, probably not. It's probably not gonna be good enough. Is your nine year old cat gonna handle it? Like, I'm like, oh, I don't know, God, I guess not. <laughs> this is my first cat hunt video. I feel like I'm putting more into this than I did into like my house hunt. Also, news of that is coming soon. It's just a process, but you know, what we're figuring it out. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this cat video now. I hope it wasn't too much. Let me know what you guys think. I really want your advice. I think you guys always give me really good solid advice and I really appreciate it. So what should I do here? What do, what, what do I do? Love you tons. I'll see you in the next video. That's all for now. Bye.